Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, um, a couple of weeks, more than probably about a month ago, I put out a short where I kind of redid this cabinet, like a DIY kind of project. Uh, that video ended up getting pretty good views on it for my channel anyways. And then the opportunity struck itself to do something else kind of similar. And that is building a chicken coop. Totally from scratch and almost 100% out of recycled pallet wood. It took me way longer to build this than I thought, but here we go, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna take you step by step how I built this from the ground up. There we have it guys, in about, <laughs> took too long, but I got the main base up, I got the floor on, and uh, you can see here what happened there, you already know what I did wrong there, I don't need to talk about it anymore on this side too, that's alright, there'll be a little bit of a half inch gap in the wall, where poop and sawdust and stuff will hide, but it'll be alright. Next step is to finish the framing around the sides and for the arches and and uh, yeah, it's coming along, I think. It's turning out all right. All right, well, welcome back. It's day two. Well, actually, it's a couple days later than when we first started, got started. And as you can see, we got a little bit of rain. My non-treated lumber is kind of wet. I had, did have a tarp over it, but I had some holes in it, so it didn't end up doing much. Today, my plan is to get this thing finished. Get it sided, get the roof on, maybe not finish the box, but uh, at least get all that done with it. So, it's time to get going on it. There we have it. Coop's framed up and ready for siding and roofing. Uh, part of the ending there stopped because I didn't get all of that uh, time lapse just because my battery died and I didn't notice. But uh, we're all framed up and back here. I even temporarily put this door on because my plan is just to side right over it and then cut it out where the door is so that all the siding matches up. Um, but yeah, that's cool. That swings nice and good. next step is for the siding is I've got all this old pallet wood that is generously donated to me by my brother Luke and a quick shout out to him by the way he has a YouTube channel as well called rogue pallets where he makes way cooler things than this out of just pallet wood so definitely go give him a check out and subscribe to his channel too
What's up everybody? It's day three. I'm tired. It's cold. I want to get this thing done. Let's do it. Hey guys, so sorry about not getting the rest of that here. This of course is the finished product. The whole coop has been built and we've even got chickens in here. Hey little guys. Um, I didn't capture building the cage, but the cage was really simple. Um, it was basically it's just two by fours and you know, it's just screwed together and then the mesh is stapled down. One neat thing too is that I did make a whole door on the back here. These are hinges you can see there and this whole thing will just fold right up makes it easy access uh, I didn't show you the roof but the roof again this was just some extra tin that I had laying around just cut the size and slap it on the top screw it down with you do will need to pick up probably some of these uh, screws right here they're specifically for tin roofs yeah we got all our hinges on I did upgrade this hinge to a larger one because the one I had on there before just seemed way too small and just felt like in the wind and stuff it could blow open and we don't want that and then I also a little thing I added later was a couple of windows on the side here they both got hinges they open and close needs a little adjusting you get the idea take a peek inside here chicken that's a great picture there's the thumbnail right there oh, maybe not. there's our roosting stick they love it up there our boxes windows there we go that's just so that the wind don't blow that open or some raccoon doesn't figure out how to open that and that's it man that's the coop for those who think this might be too small, um, the plan is is to try to make this a little bit bigger. It's This is only temporary, and I am going to fence in the bottom part of this. That's why I built it off the ground, so that the chickens will be able to go under there too and do their dust baths and everything else. But for now, this is just, this is just temporary for them. Well, from me, my chickens, to you. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a like, uh, leave a comment, and of course, as always, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.